now that we've made our way into our bivy camp or our spike camp, what we want to do is look at how the Green Gate pack system works for your day hunt. You're going to unload your pack, you're going to make camp, and you're going to get ready to go for your hunt. This is where this baby really shines, and I'll show you how these components all work together. First, we're going to take off that meat shelf, and we're going to use it, set it aside, use, use it later. What you have on top now is what to become your lumbar pack. It has a pass-through and D-ring system. I'm going to set that aside. I typically load that with uh, things I'm ready to go hunt in already, so I can just make my camp and take off and hunt. We'll take the hydration and the overflow bags off, because we're going to use those again in our rogue pack setup. This is about a 550 cubic inch bag. The lumbar is about 1150. Hydration is about 400. We're going to use this baby in our rogue pack as well. And we'll set these aside. I've pre-packed so that I'm ready to go on my day hunt. I pull the necessary things for my bivy camp out of the big pack, which I'm going to leave in my camp, and then I'm going to reassemble. What we're looking at now is the lumbar and hood pack. It comes with a bungee on the top, uh, allow you to shed excess clothing, whatever it is you can put on top. It could be a hydration pack, many things go there. The uh, packs will all come with accessory straps. This is the one that comes with three packs. What we'll do is describe how those packs uh, and those straps interchange with one another. It has a side compression strap as well, and I'll tuck this in and show you that. And this strap right here, all side release buckles, males and females in the whole system. To access where the suspension goes, we pull this down, suspension lays here. It's about a one minute changeover. That is our 1150 cubic inch lumbar. And now we're looking at about a 400 uh, cubic inch hydration bag. It can also be a stowable. You don't necessarily have to use hydration with this bag, but that's what it's designed for. Uh, I typically carry about a gallon in the country I uh, hunt, and you can put uh, a one gallon or 130 ounce uh, you know, camelback or equivalent in there. And again, this pack comes with two jumpers, we call them, accessory straps, and then we'll go over that in a moment. The back of the pack, is this is the Green Gate pack system again. This is where you're going to put your suspension. We're going to go over that here in a moment. And the quick changeover. Again, it's about a minute changeover to put this pack on. You have accessory buckles here where you can put it on other packs. And we're going to go over that again. What we have now are two overflow bags. Again, these are each about 550 cubic inches each, and we'll show you how those play into the system. This being your hydration bag, these guys will connect. If we were to configure our rogue pack or the green gate and create the whole enchilada, these guys connect like so. Now, the jumper straps, the two that were here, they'll assist us in attaching, once we're on the frame, the overflows together. This makes a real good area to carry either a jacket or your meat or horns. And we'll go over that once that's on our pack. But this is pretty much what we're looking to do is to create as many options as we can with our pack system. Again, straps, we can adjust out and create more size for head, horns, more gear, whatever you need. That right there is your hydro and your two overflows. What we have here is our meat shelf or apron. At the bottom you'll find D-rings and you'll have melee on each side up to the pass-throughs. This is the camo of choice on this side and then the other side a blaze panel to comply with the states that need to have a certain amount of cubic inch um, of blaze as well as a reflective patch on the back which is helpful for either finding your pack if you ditch it, um, it could be used for survival or just keeping track of your partner at night with your headlamp. Uh, it's a real nice feature. We'll show how this integrates with our straps and buckles. At the top, we have the pass-throughs that will go through the D-ring. And the same with the bottom, just the opposite. Again, these will connect to any pack by passing the pass-through through a D-ring. 
And that's your connection on all of the packs. This is our largest pack body, the Green Gate Pack. It has uh, multiple strap and uh, buckle points. We're going to go over that and then we'll also look at how the suspension uh, is attached and detached. Let's start first with the uh, side straps. And we always offer two sets of extra straps or accessory straps with each pack. These can be used to assist in load bearing. We're going to take those off as we'll show where that meat shelf fits. And we'll also show how these straps work to help bear weight. This is about a 3,300 cubic inch. It's our largest pack body. It shows multiple buckle points. The bottom here is where the suspension attaches again, side release, plastic buckles, and then the location for your shoulder strap. We also have a compression strap at the bottom. For a larger load, this comes out. We'd ask that you loosen all straps before you load your pack. And then there is also a inner bag for this bellows area. And that's about a uh, 580 to 600 cubic inch um, space. And we'll also have two straps on the inside of the pack to help you cinch down the load. Now we're going to flip the pack and look at the one is all suspension system.